Hey guys, <clears throat> hey guys, uh, Fanny Goes C39 here, and today we're going to be reading the Fortnite article that I mentioned before in my previous video, and this one is kind of, I don't want to bring the mood down at all, even though this article is like, I don't know how to describe it, it's sort of like a sad, it's like really sad and really puts a thought in my head that I'm taking this game for granted and what it should be. So, let's go right into it, and if you want to go check out this article, the first link of the top of the description, you can go. You can guys go check it out. And the article is from uh, Poly Polygon. Just uh, let you guys know, let you guys let you all know who this came from, because it it does talk about them like a little bit. So, the title of this article is, um, it's called, How Fortnite's Success Led to Led to Months of Intense Crunch at Epic Games. The popularity of Fortnite has been transform transformative for Epic Games, but the game's, expan game's explosive growth led to months of intense crunch for Epic employees and contractors, some of whom say they felt extreme pressure to work in grueling, grueling Hours to maintain maintain Fortnite success and profitably resulting in tox toxic and stressful environment at the company. And a dozen interviews conducted by Poly Polygon over a period of several months. Current and former employees say they regularly work in excess of seventy hour weekends weeks not weekends weeks, with some reporting a hundred uh, hundred hour weeks. Contract staffs and Epic Epic's quality and assurance and customer service department stores spoke of a stressful and hostile hostile working environment in which working overtime while officially volunteering was an unexpected service to serve service to the company. Although contract staff were paid overtime, developers report a cult culture of fear in which they were expected to pull long hours as part of their job some reported suffering health issues after working consecutive months of 70 hour weeks crunch is a given name to working attempts over time sometimes for stretches the last weeks or months and the game industry specifically it was gener generally associated and with the period leading up to a game's launch, but in the age of early access release, post-launch updates, downloadable content in the games as a service crunch can be a constant problem. Getting, getting a weekend away from the work is a major achievement. Mm. Epic launched Fortnite Battle Royale in September 2017. As a free game in which 100 players are dropped onto an island, finding one another until only one remains. The game follow, followed the summer release of Fortnite Save the World, in which teams of players work together, gathering loot to fend off zombie hordes. While Epic spent years developing Save the World, the game's original incarnation, the company rushed, company rushed for or rushed Battle Royale to a to market in a response to the success of PUBG, Pirate Unknown's Battlegrounds, on Windows PC and in in its impending release on console. Fortnite Battle Royale quickly became a cultural phenomenon, earning epic millions of dollars per day. And funding rap rapid growth at the company is currently the most popular game in the world, especially among children. Its regular updates include new weapons and map alterations are followed vividly by millions of players and fans. In a matter of months, some of Fortnite's top streamers have become multimillionaires. Fortnite Battle Royale is a part is a part of a broad trend in gaming, known as games as a service, in which popular titles are constantly updated with new modes, skins, what skins, weapons, and characters to keep the audience playing. This translates away from hard launches of singular products, create a rolling series of deadlines for game mark, mark for game makers. Um, Poly Polygon interviewed current and former employees of Epic, including full-time staff managers and con contractors working working in development QA and 
customer service departments. They requested that all their identities be proceeded for a fear of retribution from Epic or other employees in the game industry. Epic requires that game that current Eh, excuse me. Uh, Epic or other employees in the game industry. Epic requires that current and informal staff sign sign a non-disclosure agreement limiting their ability to speak about the company's operation. I work an average seventy hours a week," said one employee. "There's probably at least fifty or even hundred other people at Epic wearing those hours. I know people pull a hundred hour weeks. The the uh, company gives us unlimited time off, but it." It's almost impossible to take the time. If I take the time off, the workload falls on other people, and no one wants to be that guy. The biggest problem is that we're patching all the time. The exclusive, ex that sorry, exclusive, exclusives are focused on keeping Fortnite popular for as long as possible, especially with all the new competition that's coming in. So that's really kind of sad to to think about. Pe- Think about to for all these epic employees that have been working working so hard just to keep us playing their game. Like it's it's like a dedication and commitment to the game, but it's just like at what cost? And it costs like I don't feel like seventy hours is really long in my opinion, but for some employees to work a hundred hours a week, that's wow, I can't believe that. I have I had friends Friends break down in tears. A representative for Epic conceded that workers had endured extreme working hours. People are working very hard on Fortnite and other Epic efforts, said a spokesperson in an email interview. Extreme situations such as 100-hour work weeks are incredibly rare in those instances. We seek to immediately redeem them to avoid recurrences. But meeting players' demands and maintaining the game's m- momentum has forced some en- enduring, indoor ongoing crunch. So yeah, that right there, that made me feel like so selfish and really bad. And it's just like how us as community demanding what we want from Epic. And for people, for not people, but for like an Epic employees for doing all this and we're not appreciating we're not appreciating it i feel like it just makes us like even worser people well that's what i think the exodus keep ex oh my gosh excuses excuses keep reacting and changing things and changing things said the source everything has to be done immediately we're not allowed to spend time on nah spend time and on anything. If something breaks a weapon, say, then we can't just turn it off and fix it with the next patch. It has to be fixed immediately and all the while we're still working on the next week's patch. It's brutal. I hardly sleep. I'm grumping at home. I have no energy to go out. Getting a weekend away from the work is a major achievement. If I take a Saturday off, I feel guilty. I'm not being forced to work this way, but I don't. But if I don't, then the job won't get done. Epic said that the Sunday success of Fortnite Battle Royale had created difficulties. Fortnite achieved a far higher levels of success than we had ever anticipated, said a spokesperson. Every, everybody throughout Epic responded to the success with incredible rigor and commitment. The Fortnite team rapidly expanded the game to grow with the audience, and the Unreal Engine team began a broad effort to optimize for 60 FPS support seven platforms other seven platforms others throughout the company moved to fortnite to maintain momentum that's wow that's that's pretty amazing one one senior guy would would say just get more bodies According to multiple sources, workers at Epic operate on an implicit understanding that working crunch is is an expected part of their role. This attitude toward crunch has become a trend in the AAA, AAA game, triple A, should have just said that, triple A game, game industry, and it's root, uh, what is this, right, routinely cited in reporting on crunch at other studios. 
I know some people who refuse to work weekends and that we miss a deadline because their part of the package wasn't complete and they were fired, said another source. People are losing their jobs because they don't want to work these hours. Another source says, I had friends come to say to me and say this, I can't take this anymore. I had friends break down in tears. The crunch is constant. That's, that's, that's really messed up. We work typically 50 or 60 hour weeks and upwards of 7 hour weeks on occasion, one source who worked as a contractor in QA said, if I got to the end of the end of an 80 hour workday and I turn up to my supervisor to ask if I needed to stay on, they offer, they often looked at me as if I was actively stupid. Officially, you don't have to keep working, but in reality, sit back down. We'll be here for a while. If you do not over do overtime, that was a that was a mark against your character. Another source says that contract contractors who declined to work long hours were often replaced. You're on a contract. It could be three months. It could be a year. But if you do don't do the extra work, it's more likely that your contract won't be renewed. That's really messed up. I'm not, that's just really messed up, guys. I really don't know. But um, all. All man management want wanted was people who are who are dis disposable, said a source. The situation was come in and do as many hours as we need you. They put the contractors in situations where if they don't do that overtime, they know they're not coming back. I, it's kind of, it's, it's really messed up to sit, to read that that if they don't do a certain amount of hours, even if it's longer than what a human like not like a normal human would work on on a typical day they won't see their jobs again it all leads back to us to the consumers and how much money we're going to give them and all the time and the tension and all that and these people are working really hard um one senior guy said i would just get more bodies that's what the contractors were called bodies and then we're then when we're done with them, we can just dispose of them. They can be replaced with fresh people who don't have the toxic nature of being disgruntled. I, it's really messed up. It's, ugh, it's really weird. Messed up. It got really scary. No one was safe. Ask about con, con ask about contractors workload. An Epic spokesperson said all Epic contractor contractors have a fixed contract term that is commute. Commuted, commuted, communicated up front typically between 6 to 12 months. Epic makes, Epic makes contract re renewal decisions based on the quality of a work performed and willingness to work at, t at times needed to meet critical release dates. The spokesperson added that average contractor overtime at Epic is less than 5 hours per week. But for workers on Fortnite, the normal rhythm rhythm of working hours was changed by the game's success. There was a gym in the office at one source. It was available for technically any employee to use when they had free time, but free time wasn't something that I was allowed at all. We're always crunch we're always in crunch. Crunch never end ends in a live service game like that. You're always building more building more content and more stuff. Yeah. I feel really I feel really bad for these epic employees that they created, yeah, like they said, like they created a space for them, like to a gym, not space, to like um do whatever for their free time. But it's like hardly, it's basically hardly noticeable to them, like they don't have free time. Like it's just going, going to Epic Games and just working for those amount of hours and not taking like a break or anything. But I feel like that, I I know the two they do have a break. I that like breaks like. I, yeah, it does break, like, a law about employees having, like, a certain amount of hours. Well, not an hour, but, like, having, like, a lunch break or something. That does technically do break the law, because I remember one of my friends were talking about that. But, yeah, having, like, free time, if they're available, it's, like, hardly noticeable for them, because they're always working for us. Working to build more content for us people to enjoy and everything. I was working at least 12-hour days, 7 days a week, for at least five, 4 to 5 
months, said one source. A lot of that was having to stay at work till 3 or 4 in the morning. That's really sad. Many of, our, many of our sources says that refusing to work late hours represented, represent, okay, well, I can't read right now, represented a serious intimate Im, to a to career advancement. Boss expected workers to stay late and not and not to complain. Well, people do have lives out of, out of. Out of their job, they need jo they need a job for money. Money is just what keeps everything going and going. And I really don't want want to don't want to be a disrespectful person for saying this, but like being a boss, you don't always need to expect employees to be doing that. I feel like they should expect the employees to do the best that they can, and just you know, fix or not fix it, but just you know do the best that they can that what it's giving to them. So, like, if someone does, like, a half-decent job and, like, you want them to work late, like, no. Like, you would just let them go off and just let them relax and just let them do their own thing. Not expect them to, like, finish, like, a pro like a item or something that's going to take them nearly, nearly a full day. So, like, if an Epic employee goes to Epic, works for 1 p.m. and stays there until 3 a.m. in the morning. So literally the next day just to finish um, whatever they want to add into the game or something. It's just it's just bad. That's just bad. Bad work. Well, in my opinion, just like bad work working skills. I feel like they shouldn't just treat their employees like they expect them to like give it all. They are giving their, their best at everything, but that doesn't mean they should give them like make them work longer hours and having them to stay at least like the for the next day and not return home to like get hours of sleep like we we were individuals people we have lives and everything i don't know why a bo boss boss specifically for this one has to be like this but it's his uh, as it is me it wasn't it wasn't much of a conversation said one source it was just really i hope you didn't have plans this weekend because this is what needs to be done and if you did have something going on and it had to be serious otherwise it's going to be a negative experience for that person really really messed up epic spokesperson said that advancement at epic is based on the quality of past work and assignment assessment of the capability of taking of any larger role that might be available. When I complained, one of my managers told me just to quiet down. A source who worked in a, in a customer service dealing with players' questions and problems say we went from maybe 20 to 40 tickets a day to about 3,000 tickets a day. The source added that Epic rapidly hired new staff to handle the deluge, but, the pro but that but that the problem couldn't simply be solved immediately. With more employees, it happened so quick. Literally, one day, we were a small amount of people. And the next day, it's just, hey, by the way, now you have 50 more people on this shift who have, absolute, who have absolutely no training. The managers were very stand, stand uh, offish. When I had some concerns and took them to my management, I was ignored and quote unquote, the manager never spoke to me again. They just didn't care. When I complained, one of my managers told me to quiet down and warn me that I'll be let go if it was a very F you. I got mine mentality and management did nothing to discourage this. We were told that we had to work 50 hours, work weeks, and complete 200 tickets a day. It's very, very exhausting because we had to work really fast. When they announced that I cried, that I cried because I was just so tired and exhausted, and it just feels like they didn't give a crap. That's really terrible. It's just really terrible. Epic Games is based in. Cary, North Carolina employees, approximately a thousand people. The company was founded in 1991 by Tim Sweeney, who remains CEO. CEO. Epic's websites currently list more than 200 job vacancies. It's a very it's it is a hard grinding, crunchy life. 
Some employees said that working for a company offered many positives, including good wages and an excellent bonus system, career progression, and and a lively social scene. One source said that they had never personally experienced crunch despite working on Fortnite, described Epic as a ideal employer. But the same source also concerned that some co-workers work long hours the 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 one group of people who do get overwork horrendously at epic would be producers said the source they have so much going on producers producers really just work 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 like it's just insane it's kind of insane it's a hard grinding crunchy life said one source everyone understands you are being paid more money than more than most people will ever make in their careers anywhere else your time is bought and, and accounted for it. shut up keep your head down and do the work most employees don't mind crunching if you are giving them three times their salaries and bonuses a lot of people leave they come in think to think to themselves i'm gonna stick it out for four bonuses checks and then i'm out as work piled up epic tried to hi- to hire its way out of its problem at first the fortnite bought a rail was Fortnite by the rail team was around 50 people, but that but that more than tripled as the game became more successful. We continually hired slightly more than doubling Epic's full-time employee base since Fortnite launched in 2017. Epic's spokesperson said throughout, we're always been eager to hire great people. The limiting factor on hiring is not financial, but the speed at which we can find an onboard high highly qualified employees we also were to contract with great intimate studios to contribute to fortnite and relieve internal workload finally we refine ourselves we refine our release planning of fortnite's features and to incorporate the work of multiple yeah multiple teams working on parallel to reduce the burden of each individual team I mean, we're now we're in the halfway, and it's just 21, 22 minutes. My bad. It's really insane. This article is really long, but hey, I just want to get this message out and read this article because it's just really sad for these Epic employee workers that are working really hard for us. Produ- producers, excuse me, really just work, work, work. Like it's kind of insane. But our sources report these initials did not fix the fundamental problem of long working hours. The development process was so fast, said one source. There were things being imp- implemented that you weren't even aware of. It is the same more than any other project I have ever worked on. Crunch was everywhere. Even facilities and office management. The only people that got away w- with not doing crunch were basically the guys that were telling people to crunch. I got to the point where I was waiting for the message that maybe we weren't crunching the night or the weekend. If you're waiting for someone to say, hey, we can actually not have you come in tomorrow. Many of the sources says that Epic generally handled its working culture well prior to Fortnite's success. We did overtime when it, it, when it was necessary, said one source, but we always got a fair amount of time for people to prepare for crunch and it was not mandatory. We knew what fe- what features we had to work on we knew we knew what the plans was and we had plenty of time as fortnite's fortnite battle royale became popular it changed it changed to have having to get a feature done and hardly any notice and then having people say until that feature was ready so we went from having a month to prepare to sometimes having little as a day a lot of it was mandatory staying staying at work with no one until the job was done marketing had made a promise and so we were told it had to be done it was the most aggressive aggressive schedule i ever seen and people got burnt out burnt burnt out in all departments we we have we have um, been responding to those challenges by aggressively growing the team improving our plans process and experimenting with approaches said the epic and epic spokesperson the company has implemented mandatory two week company wide breaks in the winter and summer one day they might stand up and walk out and we never seen them again most of our sources said excuse me excuse me again that making a complaint to for, 
to Epic's Human Resources Department did little to help. Refunding feather, um, feathers is not co conductive to getting where you want to get in the industry, said one source. I saw some co-workers who were patient and fine to begin with, but got angrier and angrier over time. Pulling so many hours one day, they might stand up and walk out and we'll never see them again. Nobody would talk to talk about them if if I asked, hey, is that person working here anymore? I got weird looks. In the year prior to the launch of Fortnite Battle Royale, Epic has been downsizing its QA department in the attempt to move the automated systems, but the company halted an initiative at their Battle Royale hit and quickly hired new contract contractors. It was cram it was cramped and the office feels like they hardly hardly been clean, said one QA source. We were really cramped in there and we had four people to a side of a table. I remember being in the team meeting and there was a Q&A session at the end of it. And and it was just dead air. Then one tester came forward and asked about how the company was going to deal with crunch when it's going too slow. The mood of the room shifted and the manager said they were trying to figure it out. Uh, it was an answer that was not an answer. Very shortly after that, the tester who asked the question left the company. Wow, that's a that's wow. Epic sought to activate Alterate the several crunch by implementing two week schedules for updates, which includes patches and new features and introduces introduce shifts, but the situation did not improve. Yeah. I figured it did improve. Just just by reading all this, I feel like it just just what they were doing is just, it's just not it's killing people, something has to change. If we Oh, excuse me. If a build if a build went out into the wild, there was a negative reaction. Then someone at the top would say, "We need to change that." One so one source said said, and everyone would be pulled in from what they were doing, and people were told to cancel their plans because they were going to crunch until this was done. It was a never end. It was never ending. It's great for supporting the community, for the public, but that comes at a cost. If Various posts, po various points, Epic excludes have sent out direct directives that over time it's voluntary and it m must not be demanded. But on the ground, this has little effect. The younger people are especially vulnerable, said one source. I tried to tell them to go home, but they say I want to get on and be promoted. I need to be here to do that. The com competition, yeah, competition is very high, and then there are. Ex Anonymous, ambitious, no, ambitious, and they think it's fun to work a hundred hours a week. It really isn't. Like I, I don't, I don't have any working experience because of my age. But it's just, I, I, I know how many hours my mom does work, and she works like a good amount of hours. But working more hours, I feel like she'll just come home every day and just like not have time to cook or do anything but just sleep. If she had those amount of hours and I really do feel bad for all those employees that had to work an extent of those hours or even late nights where it's the next day it's killing people something has to change I can't see how we can go on like this for another year at first it was fine because Fortnite was a big success and it felt good and we were solving problems that were new for epic how to how to how to run a big global game as an online service but now the workload is just endless it's pretty much is and that's about it guys i really want this video to get out there i really want everybody to not only to share this video but also have other youtubers talking about this in the community and i want to give this direct message to us to the fortnite community to stop complaining and even though we do complain of the game sometimes of of the bullcrap things and ways but reading from this and you guys can read this too that what they what they're doing every day they're doing this for us they're putting in so much time and effort for us and we can't appreciate that right now we just have really mixed feelings about the game state of not taking away siphon and all that and having arenas and people just more and more complaints i feel like we should 
now take a moment to actually appreciate what Epic has done because they managed to keep this game for two years. And I don't think at that oh I I did, but I'm really I'm really feel really selfish for complaining for all the stupid things that Epic has hasn't done or if I still complain in the future. I'm I'm just a stupid person because I really should appreciate all those times and hours that um Epic has done for us and now more and more people are just feel like they're trapped in the ever everlasting everlasting hell sorry for the language that they they're constantly have to work so much just for us and we can't appreciate all those things that well we did before i don't want to speak up for everybody i just feel like in general like we appreciate what they did before and we should keep appreciate them now and hopefully epic does something to these employees i feel like they should just cut their hours and give everybody like they do if they do want to work on long hours have it that as an option but like having it to be sort of like a mandatory to work those amount of hours this is really unfair to those people and like i said before i don't even know how many minutes this is like what i said earlier like other people have lives and it really does suck if you're really bummed out really tired out for working a hundred hours for five days and you know you have saturday sunday off and you know you want to go relax and do stuff but no work calls you in from epic that you need to work more out more consistent hours for this and that and for all those people and not for all those epic employees and to people who work in general for those hours i feel really bad for you and in my case i feel really sorry if for me that i'm taking granted for the epic employees for complaining all this much i feel like we're just i don't know what more i could describe this but I really, I would really appreciate it if you guys can just share this video across and have more of this to be talked about. And we should appreciate Fortnite of what it is, even if it's do making a decision that's gonna really mess up the community or not mess up, like really anger the community. We should, you know, also take our time to, or not take our time, just appreciate, just appreciate everything those employees have done for us. And I'm so, I'm really surprised that they really, really are doing this and how people live like this. But anyways, guys, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I want to know your opinions down below about this. And again, if you want to go read this article, it will be in the description. And I will try to get this video out more for bigger Fortnite YouTubers and for Twitch streamers, maybe to to stop actually well yeah I don't know, I, complaining yeah it's gonna happen but not for playing different games but yeah i should actually appreciate the, the all those people i really do feel bad but yeah guys share please again share this video and let me know what you guys think about this and yeah my name is fanny 239 and yeah see you guys in the next one